Our next contestant is Toastmaster Manuel Asali. Toastmaster Manuel Asali, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, Toastmaster Manuel Asali. There is no signal here. I need to send an email to my office. It is very important. But the Wi-Fi here is too weak. Oh, I asked the lady at the counter of this coffee shop, and she said, oh, sure, we have free Wi-Fi. What does she care? Maybe, maybe, let's see. If I sit by this table here, I may get a better signal. If I twist my laptop a little bit, if I put it over my head, perhaps. Contest chair, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. <laughs> Have you ever felt that frustration when you cannot get a good Wi-Fi signal? Why do we go through this? Well, because it's work, and work is important. If I need Wi-Fi to do my work, then Wi-Fi is important. But even if, when we do have Wi-Fi, don't we overdo it? I have been guilty of walking into a crowded elevator and mechanically doing this. Have you ever done that? I have been guilty working at home on my laptop, and Manuel Jr. comes from school. Dad, today I scored two goals during the match. Uh-huh, mm, good. <laughs> Have you ever done that? <laughs> I was horribly guilty on the night before my wife was about to go through an operation. And she said, Manuel, sit with me. Let's talk. I'm scared. And I said, sure, dear. I will just send one quick email, and I'll be right back. Two hours later, I returned, only to find the room in the dark, my wife lying in bed, crying. The other day, Aristotle, the great Greek philosopher, appeared in one of my dreams. There he was with his long robe, his beard, and his deep, intelligent voice. And he asked me, Manuel, are you proud of technology? I said, of course I'm proud. Technology is wonderful. It helps millions of people. I can connect with family and friends far away. I can carry my office with me at all times. And he asked, yes, but is technology always good? And I said, come on, Aristotle, of all people, you should be proud. This is exactly what we learned from you. From your logic and analysis came science. From science came technology. And again, he asked, yes, but is technology always good? And poof, he disappeared. I hate it. He asked a question, he didn't give me the answer, and he woke me up. <laughs> I didn't make much of his words until one day landing at Dubai airport. As soon as the plane touched the ground, I could hear all these mobile phones switching on. At the terminal building, on that long, eternal hallway, I did not look at, I did not speak to anyone. I was part of this massless, or a mass, faceless mass of men and women, walking together, mobile in hand, dreaming, sleeping, in autopilot. The toilet sign woke me off my slumber, and I decided to walk into the gents. As I was washing my hands, I noticed on the reflection of the mirror there was a man on the other side of the room. A thin, dark man, probably in his late 40s, with wrinkly face and wrinkly hands. He was standing by the door. Good morning. He was greeting the people coming in. He was the janitor. The sad thing is that nobody was replying to his greeting. Worse still, I couldn't remember if I noticed him when I walked in. So on my way out, I caught his eye and I smiled. He smiled back. 
Then marching again on that hallway, I decided to stop, came back, and offered him my hand. Do you know what he did? He beamed. He gave me a smile that looked like a piano keyboard. He shook my hand and went like this. I felt all joyful and lighthearted because we connected in our humanity. Somewhere, deep down, we both knew that we are exactly the same. That we come from the same place and that we are going to the same place. That's the day I understood what Aristotle was trying to say. Before, I was connecting there. I was not connecting here. My mobile phone gave me the signal to connect there. But if I can somehow extract that signal and use it myself, then it becomes human Wi-Fi. It allows me to connect here and here with the people around me. I can now go back to that elevator. And before taking out my phone, I can say, hey, good morning, good morning. Nice hat, you should wear it, it's getting hot outside. Or when Manuel Jr. comes from school, I can say, so, my little Pele, did you make any goals today? Maybe you should learn cricket now. <laughs> or next time my wife wants to tell me something, and believe me, she always has something to tell me. I can just say, sure, dear, let's sit down and talk things through. Dear friends, do you use your human Wi-Fi? It's very easy to switch it on. A simple smile, a glance, a handshake will get it going. Let's make a promise to switch it on in the mornings when we wake up. Make a promise to switch it on when we are interacting face to face with people. Let's switch it on right now. There, can you see my signal? Yes, I can see yours. I can see yours too. I can see a few in the back. Show me your signals. Let's see. Let's see the signals. Can you see we're all connecting? They are radiating. Can you feel it? Yes. Look at your neighbors on your tables. Smile to them. Look, just shake your hands if you want. That's it. We're all humans. We're all in this together. This is a, a, a marvelous journey. Can you feel it? Yes. Can you feel the human Wi-Fi? Yes. Can you feel the human Wi-Fi? Yes. Contest chair.